Smokey Robinson is a legend, but when he wanted to capture in a single glance the unique story about the men in his life, he turned to artist C.J. Lattimore. Here they are in the process of designing a stunning tapestry of images that will not only highlight Smokey's memories, but will also serve as a permanent tribute to these men. These are the men who are, are somewhat um, responsible for the person that I am. And so these are the guys that I grew up with who are in the miracles. And I've known uh, them since I was preteen. Yeah, so um, I definitely want to include them. Well, my dad had never flown on an airplane before. Wow. He never wanted to. And um, my dad and I were very, very, very close. And uh, so this was his first plane trip with me. I took him to Puerto Rico for his first plane trip. This is my brother-in-law. And uh, my mom passed when I was 10 years old. Oh, right, and um, so my oldest sister raised me. And she had 10 kids of her own, so there was like 11 of us. And this is her husband. And uh, he, raised, he was my other father, you know. And he's just so important in my life because he, you know, he was a hard worker and he was my other dad. Uh, this is Hitsville, USA. And Hitsville, like, was the beginning of my, my, my real life as an adult. I mean, I was an adult when Barry Gordy first bought this building right here. It was just a house on a street called West Grand Boulevard in Detroit. And uh, uh, it had a garage attached to it. So he bought the house so that we could tear out the kitchen, make that the control room, and make the garage the studio where we recorded from. And so this building right here is that building, and it still stands today. Tell me something about Barry Gordy and the importance well, of Well, Barry Gordy is my right? best friend, and he is the founder of Motown. Uh, Motown, the Motown dynasty, really. <laughs> and uh, so um, he, he is uh, so instrumental in my life because he taught me how to write songs professionally, and uh, he has always been there for me, and we're actually there for each other. He is my best friend. Yeah. Of course, this 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 is a great picture of uh, your your guitar. Well, this is Marvin Tarplin, and Marvin Tarplin has been one of the greatest musical forces in my life. He and I have written so many songs together. He was a fantastic guitarist. He's passed on now, but he was a fantastic guitarist. And he was with me uh, since the days of the miracles. Wow. And then when I left the miracles, he left and he came to be with me. I wasn't intending on being in show business again, but he came just so we could write some songs. And eventually I did go back into show business and he was with me there. And we were together for about uh, 50 years. And uh, 50 years? Yeah. And so he, uh, he was the source of so many songs like the Tracks of My Tears and, and, uh, Going to a go go and ain't that peculiar and wow. and and, um, and uh, I'll be doggone and and so so many cruise and so many songs he was the you know his music inspired me to write those words. I had the privilege of meeting Dr. Martin Luther King, and it was back in the days when the civil rights movement was first starting. And the Miracles and I used to participate in the sit-ins and the, the, the marches and the things like that. And, and especially when we went to the South, where we'd be in restaurants and they wouldn't want to serve us. Wow. But we, it was a time when the movement was happening. Right. So we just sit there until somebody said, what do you want? And it'd be an hour sometimes or two before they'd even ask you. The first thing they would say is, we wish you would leave. Wow. You know? But anyway, Dr. Martin Luther King is important to America. Wow. So he's very important in my life. This is one that I thought was really interesting and with you with Barack Obama. How, how was that, that, what were you singing about? What were you guys singing? Well, this was actually a, a Motown show at, oh. the, at the White House. Wow. Wow. And um, of course, President Obama, I am so proud to know him. I'm so proud. If I didn't know him personally, like I do, I would be proud. I am so glad that I lived to see the first black president yes, of the United yes. States of America. And uh, he is a wonderful, brilliant man. Exactly. And so I, I not, he's not only my president, but I consider him my friend. Of course, this, this picture here is with me, you and your son, and that, that's a very important picture. Um, what were you feeling at that time when you were just like? Well, this, this is my first son. His name is Barry. I named him after Barry Gordy, who is my best friend. Wow. 
and his name is Barry, and this one he was a little guy, and I was actually doing a, a TV show at this time, and he was on the set with me. I was playing a police officer in a, in a TV show, and he was on the set with me that day, and this is when he was a little boy. I mean, he's he's grown man now with kids of his own, but uh, this this is he's my man. He's my oldest son. Yeah. And this is my youngest son. His name is Trey. And uh, you know, so of course he's near and dear to my heart. He's my son. Of course. And uh, I'm proud of him. He's an animator. He actually went to school for to, Disney. Yeah, oh. no, not for Disney. Oh. You know, he just uh, right now he's just working. Whoever calls him. You I know? got you. Well, I knew yeah. that as being an artist. But, yeah, <laughs> but but he um, he went to uh, Loyola Marymount uh -huh. uh, for animation, and he's been drawing and stuff like that. He reminds me so much of me because I used to draw all the time. You know, I live a life that I absolutely love, and I earn a living doing what I love. And when that happens, you're blessed. So I, I know that I'm blessed to be able to do that. And uh, so for you to create this award for me is a, is a uh, I really appreciate it so much. Each piece of artwork designed by C.J. Lattimore tells a story, one that can only be brought to life by sharing special one-of-a-kind memories, as Smokey just did. This intimate, one-of-a-kind handcrafted tribute will truly last forever.